Well, this is Brad with Intruder Review. Bruce Campbell is not in this movie very much. He's only in there like for like a minute or two. And there's like a picture right here with him and the lead girl in this. That scene there takes place. Just like they took a picture of Bruce Campbell and put over a clip of this movie. And so what the movie is about is about this girl who works at a supermarket as a cashier, and her ex boy her ex boyfriend gets out of jail. He's just strange. It says it's just strange. On the back of here it says an ex cop. There's no ex cop in this movie. That far as you know, there's an ex fireman, and he tells uh they're gonna sell at the end of the month, and so people have to get ready to leave. And the first, the guy's talking about a story about this guy gets decapitated, and a guy, one of the story, you don't actually don't see this, and apparently he tells a story about this guy had a hamburger, he's walking around looking for a severed head, and the guy's walking down the street carrying the head in one hand and the sandwich in the other. So then, so they, they toss the guy out, the guy starts a big fight, so he tossed him out, then, uh, Everybody, uh, then the guy starts calling the store, and the cops came, and said, no, wait, this is not my, here's my card, and said, no, wait, this is my card, and handed the guy, and it was upside down, then they left, and, uh, then the one girl, got, I guess, gets a call from her father, and he has, she has to pick up some beer, the other cashier, she gets ready to leave, and then suddenly she's grabbed, so they pulled out, big knife stabs her, dead. Then later on, the girl has a nosebleed because her ex boyfriend punched her, so she's nose was bleeding. So she went to the bathroom, and the guy went outside, and he took a hammer. They found the ex boyfriend outside. He tried. <coughs> they fight outside. Then the ex boyfriend hit him with the hammer. So somehow he got inside the store. Who was the next day? Oh, they have like. I forget what's his name. I see him in some movies. He's like this real nerd guy. He gets a big butcher knife and cuts off his headphones and he dies. Then later on, uh, the guy who does the beer, he gets stabbed for. Oh, wait. Next is the office. The main manager. His, him and his co, well, co manager. And he, he's going to sell a solar. And he owns 51% of the store, while the other guy owns 59, or 49. So they're gonna sell the store. He's in his office. He starts getting choked, and then he has like this thing where you stab papers. And he ramp the guy kill rams his eyeball into it. Then later the bear guy gets he's stuck on the bear. He gets stabbed for the bear. Then the uh, person gets picked up, slammed on the me hook. Then the guy who I forget, he was crushing boxes and some guy grabbed him, threw him on the crusher and crushed his skull. Then this other guy was putting his boxes on. He cut a box and actually did it. Then he cut open the bags of stuff. Then uh, he went he found his manager. He went up. He saw the ex-boyfriend. He's trying to pound on the window tell her that he was in there, but then, uh, he found his manager still alive, the co-manager with the eye, missing his eyeball, he was still alive. Also, I think his eye ended up in a jar of olives, because there was a guy making, putting olives in this thing, and there was an eyeball floating around there, so, he went to get a teller, he ran, he slipped and fell, because the manager grabbed him, then the killer came, was in the Thing. He grabbed him, cut him out, cut his head on the on the slicer. It was oh, you watched that. It was like oh. Then the girlfriends. Then the girl started like, where is everybody? Start looking for people. Then she started finding dead bodies, and somebody's chasing her. Then her boyfriend shows up. Ex boyfriend shows up. She took a had one of those meat hooks, you know, you put it in your hand, cut his neck. Then the other manager who gets hit in the hammer by her ex-boyfriend shows up. 
They hugged. He went to call the cops. And she saw blood on her hand. And he looked at him. He turns around, grabs her by head, and she he kills everybody. The co-manager because he didn't want. He's crazy about the store. He says. So, she starts running around. She hides behind like a popcorn thing. He finds her. Then her ex-boyfriend is still like, pops up. Before that, they he, she saw a bright guy came up. He kills her. Then she saw the ex man the other cold manager on the ground. He runs her over there. It turns out it was just his head. And the, the guy was using it as a puppet. So he starts chasing them around. Then she goes outside, and then her boyfriend shows up, and ex-boyfriend, she start, he starts beating him with the head. Then they, he, she went out the bathroom window, made it to her friend's car. The car she came falling out of the car. She grabbed him on the car, pulled him out. She grabbed a knife, stabbed him in the chest. So she went to call that one to pay for him. He came back to life, started beating on the window with a with the meat cleaver, and if she fell, she got to get out. Then her ex-boyfriend showed up again, started killing, killed the guy with the act of the uh, meat cleaver. Then the cop showed up, which has one of them, I think, was a uh, Bruce Campbell, and they arrested the two guys. Then while the guy was bleeding there to death, I think I don't know if he died or not. He's still alive at the end. It said that he died, and he said they both went psycho. And she at the end, the girl screaming, and that's the end of the movie. It's a good movie. It's a nice little slasher type deal. So that's basically it. I'm getting ready to go to bed, so this will be my last review for the night. So good night, everybody. Bye.